Hello, and welcome back once more to the continuing adventures of Lara Croft. So I've uh, actually already played the first sort of 30 seconds or so that's just happened, because um, for some reason my game decided to crash as I was playing, so hopefully that's not going to happen again, and in the meantime, I should now know where all of the relics and things are. Yes, there we go. It's an old Chinese dagger. We get you. And I remember where you are as well, you wee beastie. Yeah, I say this about all of the collection challenges, but the Red Cap Roundup one is absolutely the worst in the game for me. I hate the mushroom hunt in this level. It's it's just horrible, and I, I, I hate it. So... So when I'm talking about obviously not doing all of the uh, the collection stuff, that's one of the ones I mean. There is no way that I am going to be doing the red cap roundup. Hey, it didn't crash. Well done me. Okay, so this is where I get to be sneaky for a bit, which I like because I like sneaky games, and I like give games that like genuinely give you the option to be sneaky. Okay. So, we're going to be using survival instincts a lot to make sure that uh, the people that we're shooting aren't going to be alerted. Oh yeah, that's going to make me come out, isn't it? Yeah. They're not even trying for one of those, like, come out, we won't hurt you, things. They're just going straight for us, aren't they? Right, so that's one down. Okay, this area is just filled with enemies and fun stuff. So I'm going to take this very slow. Yeah, one of my favourite types of games, literally ever since I was a kid first playing games, are sneaky type games. Like, I was a big Metal Gear Solid fan. And I actually completed it, um... I don't think you could actually get the highest award without being on the highest difficulty level but I certainly got for playing it on easy difficulty I got the highest rank for stealth for like never getting spotted aside from when the game required that you got spotted and things like that and I have played to that standard on stealth games ever since he lied now I, I, I like being stealthy it's not a case of being good at it, it's just more a case of what I enjoy, so like I'll often go through like Skyrim or I, I like, I, I played um, funnily enough I was never a big fan of the Assassin's Creed series but I did play Assassin's Creed 4 and shit and really liked it um, so yeah I like, st I like stealth games and I like that this game does give you the option to be stealthy. That didn't go very well. I was hoping to catch onto that rock face, but oh well. <coughs> Whoop. Loot you, sir. And I can't even see anyone else. Okay, let's just jump up here quickly. Ah, there's one. I see you and your torch, sir. There's you as well, sir. I see you. So if you're going to stand still for a moment. He's down. Where'd his buddy go? Where'd his buddy go? His buddy's over there. Okay, he's coming back. So pull that. Zoom in. Oh my god. I cannot be this shit. But apparently I can now. Oh, that may have actually helped though. Because now he's going to go investigate that. Okay, there's another two down. I can see torch beams over there. But I'm not going to go over there yet because there's bad things over there. Hey look, it's one of those damn mushrooms. Oh! Sh it, I was not paying attention.
Good thing about the bow is once you've got it pulled all the way back and you've actually got the upgrades on it, um, you often don't need to hit them in the head, which is useful for me in situations like that. See, this portion is kind of easy because obviously they've all got torches, so it's easy enough to see where the um, where they are. But it's also difficult because... Well, it's difficult because a lot of games do throw stealth sections in, but so few games nowadays are actually built for stealth sections, like they used to be back in the days of Metal Gear Solid. There is no way that that wouldn't alert people. Anyway, um, yeah, games nowadays just don't seem to be built for stealth. So all of the controls, like you're trying to use these controls for an action game to stealth around in. And for me, one of the worst games for this. And I was really disappointed. Um, it was actually The Last of Us. Because I thought the stealth was pretty good in The Last of Us. But it was clearly still sort of built on this um, action game philosophy for when the combat sections happened. And I just felt that the stealth could have been... You know, it could have been entirely stealth focused, is I guess what I'm saying. I still love The, the Last of Us. Like, it's still one of my favourite games. Probably of all time, actually. It's a really good game. But yeah, I was just just a touch disappointed in the stealth at times. And yeah, Lara Croft, it's the same because... Um, can I actually make that jump? I don't think I can. Oh, yes I can. Um, yeah, Lara Croft, it's the same. But then again, Lara Croft, this is not a stealth game. This is an action game with stealth elements to it. I'm going down. I don't know why I would have wanted to end up here. Nope, don't fall into those bushes. Some of the bushes hurt you. Which, you know, I don't think I've ever been hurt by a bush in real life. Just keep hammering that stealth instinct button, basically. Keep to the shallows. Keep to the shallows. Ooh, I see something glowing. Hey, it's a GPS cache. So, I've still got some bad guys over there that I need to kill. But if I can avoid fighting them for the moment, because I'm a coward. Uh-oh. He was a lot closer than I might have thought. Oh, I can't believe I missed, but equally I can't believe he didn't hear me. Okay, because I'm also actually listening. I've got my headphones on, um, and I've got the sound working, which is nice. Because um, I actually can hear when they're closer to me, their voices sound closer, which is very helpful indeed. If I do this, I think they'll all hear, so I don't want to do that yet. I am going to do this, though. I don't know where this is going to take me, but I'm going to do it. There's something over there. Do I want to jump for it? Yes, I do. Might as well jump for it. If you see something, in general, the rule is jump for it. <coughs> AD, so I mean, presumably that would make Himiko and the Sun Queen like pre Christianity, basically, because they must have been around for a long damn time. Jump! Splash! Crates, crates. Weapon modifications available. I can't remember. Oh yes, no, I did. I did have some modifications that I needed to do because uh, I had a lot of salvage, but not nearly enough for a completely new shotgun and everything. Where are you? Come on. He's down. Which means I think 
Are you the last one alive? I think you are, mate. And that puts you shit out of luck. But, yep, something to remember about this place, for anyone playing it themselves, is that once you've killed everyone, a second wave usually shows up. Are you going to alert anybody? No. Oh, God. Come on. Oh, he's turning around. He's turning around. I've got to kill him quick, then. <laughs> right. He's dead. I think... I think that's me in the clear. I think that's everyone. So now I get to collect up the salvage, loot the bodies, do any other hunting for all of the, um... All the extras that are around here. Ooh, and another secret tomb. You spoil me, sir. Is that a mushroom? Yes, it is. Stupid bloody mushrooms. I hate them. I actually can't eat mushrooms in real life. Which is a shame, because I, I really like eating mushrooms. There you go. As far as I'm aware, it is some sort of law that all Let's Players have to share way too much weird information about themselves, so that's your piece of weird information about me. I like mushrooms, but I can't eat them. Right. So I think I've kind of explored... There's a... That was where the rock wall was that I wanted to try and climb up earlier, so I'm going to have another shot at that, obviously. There we go. Man, the ability to adjust your direction that you're jumping mid-jump would be so helpful in real life. Okay, I mean, should I be trying to aim like more up there? Ah, there we go, got it. Just me being dumb, obviously. Up we get. Now I think... I don't know why I wanted to get up here. That's where I'm supposed to go next, so... Uh, screw it then. Boop. Slide down. I don't. Can have a look around. Splash this area. Nope. Sometimes it does seem a little arbitrary what Lara will and won't jump up. Ooh. I hear more people. Get out of there. Splash, come on. Come on, I hear people, and I don't like hearing people. People are bad. Probably shouldn't mutter to myself so much, because this audio is going to be almost illegible. Illegible? Unhearable? I don't know what word I want to use here. Shh. Two guards standing next to each other. Both will be alerted if I kill the other one. Damn. <clears throat> I don't seem to be moving at all. I might have to try and, like, distract one of them away. And then kill the other one. How far can I distract them away to? If I say fired... Here. Nope. Never really used the distract feature. Ah! Right, I got him. So, if he goes... Yep, yeah, got him. Right, that's one down. And there's another two damn guards there. Right. You go off on your own. 
Damn it, drop down. You hear that? Come on, come on. Maybe over here. Don't both come, don't both come. Oh shh. Fuck it. How did I miss both of those? Damn it. Into the woods. So I also think dogs. Okay, you know what? I managed to get pretty damn far on stealth, so I'm happy with that. All but the last couple of skills kill ha la ha. All except the last couple of kills were stealth, so I'm happy with that. I do like how both of these guys will have presumably had to just walk over the body of their fallen comrade that I shot earlier. And that still didn't rouse their attention. Saw this earlier. So at the time of playing this, I haven't even started to edit the um, the last episode. Uh, all I saw is that the audio recording was 50 minutes long, which would make it about double the length of any of the videos I've put out so far. So um, I'm going to probably make this quite a short episode anyway, just to compensate for that. Um, or I may end up having to split that episode in half just to get the damn thing uploaded. So I'll probably do this secret tomb, and then that'll be the end of this episode. And then the next episode will be me making my way down to the beach. Because if I remember rightly, I'm about to run into... Ooh. Oh yeah, I know what this episode is. Uh, this tomb is even... So, I've got to find all of these these things. Light all of them, so that I can actually see what I'm doing. Then I'll do it. This tomb I personally find really funny for me, because the very first time I did it I didn't realise that I could light all of these torches, and so I did the entire tomb in the dark entirely on, like, touch, basically. Which I just find hilarious. Okay, so now we do that, and then we jump, and we run up here very quickly, because the gas will start coming back, and that's bad, because it kills Lara. And up we get, so now here I can, there should be, uh, I can't remember where the torch is, down. Ah, there's one torch anyway. Is there a torch over on this side? Yes, there is. There we go. So, over there obviously we've got those, don't think there's any other torches, but I can see that that's a rock wall I should be able to use my climbing axe on, and away we go. Funnily enough, one of my favourite tombs, because it's short, it's sweet, but it just it does require that moment of going, ooh, that's how it works. <gasps> what else have you found, Lara? One skill point, plus some weapon modifications. Perfect place to end it, I think. Um, can I like? Should probably have tried lighting my torch at some point as well. Can I get down in any other ways other than just jumping? No. Well, sod it. Jump we go. Probably don't want to drop down there with a lit torch. And... Away we go. I 
So we're actually doing pretty well here because we've got all of those. We just don't have most of these. Um, bow expert, pistol expert, rifle expert. Oh, these are the finishers. And on this side, the only one that's locked. But you need orienteering for it. So I'll just get orienteering. I might as well. Collectibles will be visible on the map and glow through walls. Brilliant. And the next one, all tomb entrances and map locations will be on the map. Brilliant. That's actually really helpful. And let's have a look at some upgrades for my weapons then. That's fully upgraded. That's got some things to go. That's as upgraded as it can get. That's as upgraded as it can get. That's so, it's only some shotgun upgrades, which uh, incendiary shells are 400. And wrapped stock is 300, so I can actually get both. Woo! So that puts the shotgun almost completely upgraded. So all I've got to do now, the reason these aren't at full is because I still have to, um, like with the assault rifle, when I unlocked the different rifle parts that made it the better rifle, I still have to do that, obviously, for the shotgun and the pistol and the rifle again. Um, and then I'll be able to get them up to 100%. So that seems a good place to end. So um, I hope this was a bit of a shorter episode, and uh, I'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye!